going on? My name is Lord Fangirl Grant, and welcome to Marvel Avengers campaign review. Um, so yesterday I finished the campaign, and I thought let's do a little game review. So I made notes like I did with the Last of Us one, um, and <clears throat> little backstory on this game: I was not gonna get it, um, but. Th but Fortnite had that little thing. If you played the beta and did the harm challenges, you got the um, Hulk fists and the Hulkbuster fists. And that, so I did that, and I was like, yeah, okay, sure, I'll do it. And then I played it, and I was like, oh, my God, I'm, I can be Thor. So that was very, like, the first player you are is Thor in the beta. But we're not really going to talk about the beta, because the beta is obviously part of the story. So we'll start with the story. Um, I started on normal, so uh, the game, if you pre-ordered it, came out on the 1st of September. I, I picked up the game on the 2nd of September, actually. Um, I got the deluxe edition, so you get that, and the steel case. Um, and I didn't start playing it until the 3rd of September, um, and I finished it the next day. So... I made notes, so let's get this started. Um, my first note was you got to love fan fiction. If you haven't played it, the, Kamala is the like I guess the main character you could say. Um, she entered this competition and she was one of the finalists or something, and she got to go to Avengers Day and um, get her comic book read by the Avengers. So that's pretty cool just to start off with the fan fiction. Um, and then there was the douchebag at Captain America. And he was like, oh, you're not a true fan, blah, blah, blah. And then she schooled him. Um, and then she meant, mentioned Madam Hydra. Now, I don't know, mm, I don't know much about the Marvel Universe. But what I do know is this game has is basically agents of shield like plot so you haven't seen agents of shield 110 recommend first season's a bit of bit slow but it's like amazing um and madam hydra is in the third season i want to i want to say um and it's very i won't spoil it but it's like centered around in humans and colson's in it I guess kind of spoiler. Um, and that. And I, at one point, I'm just like, isn't S.H.I.E.L.D. meant to be a secret organisation? Like, I know Avengers is out in the, like, light, but isn't it meant to be a secret <coughs> organisation? Um, the mini game to get the comic books. So at the beginning, you get five comic books and you get to go in the VIP section. And the mini game, the cool mini game, was the, um, <coughs> I like the Hulk smash. I wish there was a bit more to that. Which it was just basically press a button thingy. Same with the Manolinia um, pool. But the Iron Man one was pretty cool. Um, uh, Tony always has to make an entrance. Like, I, you just, like, could, like, t like, as soon as George... Like, spoke up, you could like, oh no, Tony's gonna ruin it for him. Um, the voice actor, I could swear, he used to play um, a character. He used to voice one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in like a movie I used to watch when I was little. Um, I can't remember which one. I think Mikey or Leo or Raph or Donatello. I don't know for sure. Um, Oh, Taskmaster is a part of Shield. Was a part of Shield. I never knew that, um, because I played Spider Man and I just thought he was just a regular bad guy. Um, I started when Natasha was finding him. I was like, "Let's go, Natasha! Let's go!" Ho ha. Um, and then Cap Captain America died, and I was just done. <laughs> um, and then I was like, "Tartan's a bad guy." He could, he, he could America. Um, and then Kamala, I believe I'm saying that right, eh, was doing that, the, trying to get the answers right. And I was like, the, what was Tony Stark's first love? 
And I was like, you literally said it in the beginning. It was the um, Mark 1 repulses. And then I was like, never mind, it's just I am Iron Man. Um, and then she has a, then she has a HQ, which is pretty cool. Um, and I was like, yeet. Throughout this game, I was like, yeet, yeet, yeet. And in some moments, I was like PewDiePie and going, oh. Um, and then, so the dude, which I now recognise him as the big dude from like, I used to watch an Iron Man, um, like Iron Man show and... He was part of it, and he was. Like, I was like, he looks like Mega Mind. Um, there was oh, Simmons. There was the word Simmons. If you're Agents of Shield fan, that was there. And then when she made the phone call in the middle of wherever, I'm like, dude, they can track that, can't they? They can track anything. Um. So someone's opening doors. Um, in the. Chimera, I was like, how's anything standing? Like, didn't it go boom? Um, and then when Hulk was chasing Kamala, I was like, she's friend, not food. Um, and at some point she was like saying stuff, and I was like, this girl's gonna make me cry. And then the KFC song was it. Like, I don't care. I love it. <laughs> um, and then it was, and then it finally made sense the beta, because it goes from the bridge scene to her and Banner in the forest, so it now makes sense. Um, and then they took Jarvis out, and they're like essentially like killing Jarvis. No one kills Jarvis. Um, I bought the DLCs, so throughout the entire game, I had Hulk in, like, these gold boxer pants. And uh, so that was funny. Um, then there was this, this, the bit where Fury was talking to, like, um, Hulk and them about rebuilding shield, and like, that's Coulson. That's literally what happened at the end of Season 1. Um... And then Iron Man, yet to meet Iron Man. So at this point, it's just been Hulk and Kamala. Um, you get to see Iron Man, and he gets in his, I called it the Mark Negative. <laughs> um, and then I made a note that Tony adopted another child. Like, he just adopted another child. Um, um, then we... Um, uh, these these like notes are like a bit everywhere, but then you can meet Ant Man, which his name's like some Hank Pym or something, and not Scott whatever, and that and then there was this robot, and I'm like I've seen Ultron, that's that, and then the girl I think her name was Maddie or something, she was like oh my god hi, oh my god hi like twenty four seven, um, and then ja something happened. Oh yes. Something happened and he had zero point four seconds remaining. And at the beginning of the game, that's how it took Tony to open, unlock the door one point four seconds. So they really did love that. So then I finished about six ish, or I played for about six hours on my first day. And then the next day I started at six PM and went to nine forty six PM. I just finished the game. And we got Black Widow. And she was the nice aim in the beginning of the game. And then, can you guess what I did next time? Let's go, Natasha. Let's go. Um, and then you find out that she was Tiny Dancer. And I'm just like, why Tiny da Dancer? And then the chick was like, lab rats. All the diseases. And they're like, lab rats. And I'm like, yeah, lab rats. Not humans. And then there was a point where Banner adopts Kamala. Um, and no one touches Jarvis. Um, I think in this entire game I lagged twice. And then you find out that cat, that, that video that really brought Kamala and everyone together, once it had voice, it, Cat was just the one. Um, 
and Kat must have had a reason, obviously. Um, and then she went through the security cameras, and then she, and then Jarvis called her dad, and she's like, oh no. Um, but she figured it out. Just get out of the earth and you will not find it. Obviously, it's like, it's not on earth. Um, and then we face this, like, big, like, mech dude. And then, if I'm correct, we met Captain America. He was alive. My boy was alive. Well, and the Tony and Captain Hug was amazing. Um, <clears throat> and then George's head got bigger. So yes, when Monica was dealt with, I was like, bye Felicia. And then I failed my first mission. And then I had to do my first look up, which was normally took, so, takes a while. And then there was this line that said, we someone who needs help. Captain America says that right before they go into the final battle. She's like, we someone who needs help. I don't think that makes sense. And then they all got upgrades. Shiny upgrades. I love the Captain America shield upgrade. Well, it's not an upgrade. I just love its shine. Um, but one downside is Hulk in pants. What the hell? Hulk in pants? Nah. It's always the purple shorts. Um, Captain America's, like, blue eyes. That was pretty cool. And then when Cap got angry, just smashed the television. Um, the tree sentry. If you don't know the crews, watch Agent of Shield. They're like a small, big part, especially in the later seasons. Um, and then Miguel, Kamala turned big girl, girl, and just starts smashing. And th during the final fight, the final fight I felt was definitely unclimactic. Um, but it was cool that you got to play as all the heroes while you were fighting. A bit sad that Thor bit in fighting thing was just using the Bifrost. Um, in the game, it's only ever really used twice. Um, and then when Dana was like, oh, oh, this time I thought I was mentoring you, but in reality, I'm like, you wanted to get rid of her from like the get-go. You were like, nope, nope, Dawama. <laughs> you haven't taught her anything. And then Kamala goes home, and her dad was just, and that was very understanding. We're like, we love an understanding dad. And I finished this, the game. And then the extra scene at the end. And Monica's life. That could ruin your entire day. Just like, what the hell? Also, you never finished George. He only fell out of the Kree Sentry head, technically. So he's obviously still alive. Aim, as soon as like Aim came in the nickel, I'm like, bad guys. I know what Aim's bad. I know if Aim, even my brother knows Aim's bad. Um, anything else? Through <clears throat> some of the characters, I felt like it was a bit slow. Um, I just was getting bored and that but then as soon as like I was starting to get bored you got a new character and you just got to play as like new characters so, like you went from Hulk to Iron Man to like Black Widow to like all of that it's just like yes so Black Widow and Captain America were definitely my favorite characters they were the ones I was most excited for ironically enough and then what the hell was Thor doing with D Blake was that his alias on earth like, I would love to see what, like, Thor was doing on Earth. Just like, just what the hell was Thor doing? Because did he go back to Asgard? Because he obviously didn't. He was in his, he was in, like, human clothes. Actually, he should have went back to Asgard, theoretically. Honestly, it is a really thing. Kind of sad that, like, or any other characters were mentioned. In the PlayStation you can get Spider-Man but I haven't got him that. I was just trying to like, beat the campaign. 
Um, but yeah, honestly, I feel like getting like the standard game would just be enough. You don't need any of the extra stuff to buy. Um, it's just about it's like the equivalent of buying Fortnite characters. They're just there. W wasn't like if you buy Assassin's Creed like DLC, you get stuff immediately. Um, but it's definitely a pretty cool game. Um, so I'd give it. I mean, I'm still gonna play it. I mean, I didn't even touch the surface. I'd love to get a platinum. I've only ever got one platinum before. I remember the first game I ever completed was Indiana Jones. But I think we're getting a bit too far. So, my name is Lord from Hangar Grace. You guys will fit them. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, because I make new videos every Monday. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!